Hmm. Hello there. Won't you join me? Is the coffee made? This is Kriegel, and we're going fishing in Norway. So grab a rod, hop in the boat, and let's head out. Northern Pike, Bream, Roach, Xander, Asp, Atlantic Salmon. Let's get some uh, challenges going today. Try to aim for at least some EXP here. Also, yep, I've got some weekly challenges we can do here. Weight limit challenge. Bronze should be easy. 45 fish. We can do that. Let's look good. Do believe the, the fish are jumping this morning. Another beautiful day in Norway. Hagusjön Lake. I don't know that we'll need a boat. It's more like a pond. But this will allow us to reach some of the remote area. Let's see, this pond connects to the tributary. Going all the way out to the greater lake and then to the sea. So you would think we might have to try that lake too. You would think that there would be some good fish in this area. Now the question is what to what tackle setup to use to target them. I'm still new enough at this that it's a learning experience for me. I do not have it figured out, but there are some helpful guides that, that the game gives you that you can get a hint and some information on how to target specific fish that you're after. I don't know that I'm going to target anything in particular here today. We know what's in this lake. To see what we can catch based on what we've got put together in our rod combo. What's really neat is, uh, well, especially with the larger lakes, you can see the structure under the water by using the map. Hmm. Give it a go here. Guess we should look and see what we're using here. Hmm. Got a spinner on right now. I come to this menu because it'll tell you what the mastery percent is. That way you can see if you've leveled up that bait. 
really like to try a spinner. That might be too large using a two. Let's go with something a little smaller. Let's pull our four out and see how we do. Okay. Right now I've just got the one combo going because I'm trying to level it up. It's just a really heavy, heavy bait casting combo. It's like I need to buy a new reel soon. That's a good reel, but I need to level up another one. And then we're using pretty heavy braided line here. So. Get the bait in the water. It's fishing a spinner, so we'll let that sink down. Kind of work it slowly here. Got something trailing here. Don't know if it's interested. Produce speed and see. No, it just wants to check it out. Probably the wrong size. Now, in this game, when you tell it cut line, it's not actually cutting the line. <clears throat> You're not actually losing your bait. It's just, really, just a quick way to get it back in. This game's got a little bit of helpful information where you can see the technique to present for whatever bait you've got on. So we just use a constant technique for spinner bait. Pike there. Okay. How did you know what it was? Yeah, I guess. So it's my Have fun. Yeah, Pike, Pike. They'll bite on everything, though get some of the more specific here in this pond, I think we'd have to get a little more creative with our combos here. I usually start with a spinner because it's just a good way to test the waters. I do that in real life too. It's a very effective go-to bait to put on. You can attach a tail to a spinner and give it a little bit more animation in real life. It's just because it's pretty. Oh, I didn't have to answer on Archer. Yeah, be safe. Turn it lighter. Um, Archer and Minnie's off, so they're warm. Let's get to one of the next hour or two. Okay. I'll probably call you about the roast. Probably a couple hours, but I'll turn it back on low. So it just. Okay. We'll try to target some specific fish here. 
take a look and see what we want to go after in this pond. Seems like a promising little pond. We've just got to figure it out. At least Pike like it. Pike like everything, though. Well, if nothing else, we're leveling up our bronze fish score. A challenge. So let's take a look here. Uh, so fish in the area, well, northern pike, yeah. Let's start with bream. All right. See how to target a bream. And use our handbook. Don't know that I've caught a bream in Norway yet. There they are. So bream have a couple of traits. They're a bottom lurker. And they're a jumper. Okay, that doesn't help us tremendously. Shallow pond, deep pond, lake shore... They prefer bloodworm, grub, and tube. Okay, well, that's why I don't have any bream. I don't have set up that would require that would require float fishing, possibly lure fishing. And I don't have a setup for that on me. So Bream are out. Roach, Xander, Asp. Let's see, I've caught Xander. I've never caught Ash or Roach that I recall. Actually, I've caught Ash. Let's see. Yeah, I've caught Ash. Swim bait, grub, and a jerk bait. Okay. And then roach bite on bloodworm, pearl barley, and red worm. So we can't target roach either, because that's for float fishing. So we'll go after some asp. So we just need to put on either a swim bait or a jerk bait. Well, let's go find. Just that. I've got an assortment of jerk bait, and I've got a couple of swim bait on me. There's one. That's fully leveled out. So I don't want to use my swim bait because I've already leveled it up, and I didn't bring any other swim bait. So we'll work on one of our jerk baits here. I do like jerk bait in real life. It's actually really fun to put on and, and play around with. Now I don't know that anything here is gonna bite on a jerk bait that large. So maybe let's look at putting on a three. Testing our luck with a jerk bait three. That's gonna, <laughs> gonna target some really large fish. But we may not get bites. But, let's give it a try. Right? So, the method to fishing a jerk bait is you can do constant, or stop and go, or twitching. So we'll go through all of those techniques. Constant, of course, is self-explanatory. And it's got the helper uh, UI down on the bottom right that tells you what you're currently doing. So twitching is just that. You just give the line, the rod a little bit of a back and forth jerk. We're going a little fast here. Let's slow down our reel. And we just give it a nice twitch. And that's, that's twitch fishing. What that does is it creates a little pop in the water from that jerk bait. 
It's like a minnow or a shad trying to suddenly flee the scene. And so it, it creates a bit of a momentary turmoil and gets gets their attention. The other one is play the wounded or confused shad, which is stop and go, which is really just a rotation or two of the reel, which they allow you to use the bar here to kind of understand the process. You can watch that stop and go bar. It's just hit, off, hit, off, hit, off. Or you can do halftime. And it just keeps it at a constant mid depth, which is favorable because then you're kind of hovering above bottom. And it also is kind of like an indecisive dinner that should be easy to catch because your dinner is giving you plenty of opportunity with stop and go, and there's one on the line right there. All right. It's pretty heavy. Got a little bit of heft to it. And wouldn't you know, darn pike. Those suckers, an aggressive predatory fish, and they just tend to bite almost whatever you throw out at them. They're a pain, that's what they are. So, now you know the different techniques you can use with a jerk bait. My personal favorite in real life is a uh, kind of a mixed bag between a twitching and a stop and go. I just like to keep the lure off of the surface of the water on a jerk bait. Uh, I'd rather go with some depth, get down into the where the fish live and you just develop a sense for it and you just want to create an artistic presentation that is going to get the fish attention. There is absolutely an art to fishing. You get to interpret that bait as you see fit and put your own feng shui into it, as it were. Your own rhythm and pace. And fishing really is just all about uh, connecting with nature. Putting your yourself on a platter, as it were, for the fish. You want to be able to present in a way that will ultimately sustain you to catch the fish. But in order to do so, you've got to speak their language. So it forces the mind and the body to slow down and connect, as it were, into an environment that may be foreign to you. And in this way, you get outside of yourself, and it's a very enriching and uh, nourishing thing to do. I encourage everyone to pick up a rod and reel and try their hand at fishing. There's no such thing as a bad fisherman. Just throw it out in the water and learn as you go. Eventually, one day, you'll be hooking them and think, man... I got this. And there's something so calming and lovely about the waves and the wind and the water and the splashes and the ripples and the crickets and the birds. It's really a wonderful thing to go connect 
the nature in this way if you're able to. That's right. And those are real life techniques that you can use. So if you're nervous about going out into real water and feeling foolish because you're lost or don't know what to do, well, uh, watch these streams. You can pick up some real advice on uh, from professional sources. Uh, but even this game is a helpful tool at an introductory level to teach you the basic concepts of the different techniques that uh, people have mastered to get fish's attention. There we go. Nope, another pike. It it's probably uh, because my bait's too large. I bet you that's what's going on here. Yeah, let's get that thing back in. I bet you. I bet you that's too large. So you learn these basic techniques, you can take these out into real-world experience and have a modicum of expertise as you go into it. You're not going blindly in. What do we got here? Well, I'll be. Spoke too soon. So we can catch large asp on that size of a jerkbait. That is a big asp. Hey, felt good. Felt real good. I got 423 credits. So take these techniques, take what you learn. We'll be streaming more fishing content for you. Uh, appreciate anyone that would take the time and have the patience to sit down and watch a fishing stream. There's a secret that fishing holds that maybe people don't understand which is that it unlocks a patience in a person it unlocks a joy and maybe this is an introduction for you to fishing and I would encourage you to continue to check out my fishing streams and we can learn together and hopefully encourage you to try it for yourself if you are an avid fisherman or uh, an enthusiast. I welcome you as well. Uh, that describes myself. I'm not avid. I'm an enthusiast. But um, there's there's a commonality between between folks that that do this. And so I salute you and thank you for spending time with me here.
I caught that ass reeling a little faster. So, we'll keep that pace up for a bit. Let's uh, wiggle around a little bit here. I will say they did a great job on the aesthetics on this game. Really pleased with the product. We'll get right here where this tributary is. See if that's not going to give us some better opportunities. Now this game does cheat real life a little bit because you don't have a depth knowledge on where your bait currently is at all times. But the timings that you glean off of this game can actually help your real life timings. And you'll feel the bottom as well when you hit the bottom with your bait in real life. You'll know that, uh, you'll know that that's your depth to work with. And kind of play around with that. I respect fishing because it's a practiced skill. And you get out of it what you put into it. Which is extremely rewarding. Now I'm nothing of a fisherman in real life. But I do have a heritage of it. My grandfather was an exceptional sportsman. Uh, but the funny thing is. Come on. Come on. You got it. The funny thing is, is that my grandmother was actually better than him. Uh, she, he introduced her to fishing after they married. And they were married many, many years, I think, all told. Uh, 52. But... Early in their marriage, he introduced her to fishing, and uh, <laughs> she outfished him for most of their marriage. It it's really great. She's got some wonderful stories. He has a twisted thumb. The big old knot on her thumb, knuckle, on the knuckle where the thumb bends, and her thumb kind of bends crooked. And so when I was little, probably about eight years old, I asked her about that, and that was a fishing story from when she pulled up a catfish on uh, a famous lake in Texas, and. Uh, he had a hold of him, and he just wriggled in her grip and just twisted that thumb. And, uh... I thought he bit it. No, he, he was bit down on it, but he wriggled when oh. she had a grip on his mouth and just twisted her thumb. But he was a big old heavy sucker. Actually, it was probably a female catfish. I think she was pregnant. Tell you what, those catfish get big. No, we need to go catfishing on this game. The other thing I appreciate about this game is it has quite a good variety of fish. You can play the Norway map or you can play the USA map. Uh, right now I'm doing the Norway map. Obviously. And they, this is still an early access game. I have a lot of high hopes for it. And I have a lot of trust in Apex because they developed a wonderful game with Hunter Call of the Wild. Oh, this is a big one. Okay. So I have no doubt that they will make this into a great game. It already is, in my opinion. But I'm, I'm sure they'll make it even better.
Just take that nice and slow. No reason to get into a hurry when you've got one on the line. Just keep the tension up. You don't want the line to break, but if you've got your drag set correctly on your reel, then you shouldn't snap the line. You just got to keep the tension and eventually you'll tire the fish out. It may take a while, but there's a lot of thrill in that chase. That is a large pike. That's just a silver pike, too. Okay. Very nice. Hey, look at that. You gotta level up. L-I-B. Try to slow it down here and fish at the depth a little better. See if there's anything big lurking down here. My granddad used to say that you could woo the fish. That you should talk to the fish. You should sing to the fish. When I was little, he would take me out. I don't know if he was joking with me or not, but he'd sit up there. Fishy, 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 fishy. One thing they're lacking yet in early access on this game are uh, a lot of the bird sounds when you're out on the water. I love to listen to all of the birds. But, uh, hopefully they'll add that in. I don't see why they wouldn't. Every cast is a new adventure. Every cast is a quest. It's a journey. From point A to point B, how you get there is your choice. Every decision to cast is a new decision to go on a different journey. You get to decide where to put your bait.
it's a very personal sport. And I don't really look at it as a sport. I know it's referred to as a sport, and they do make sport of fishing. But to me, it's not that. To me, fishing is a very personal experience with yourself and with nature. Little fella. The other thing they don't have yet, which is really surprising, is rumble support on the controller. Vib vibration. That would really help the game to come alive. We need bird sounds. Devs, if you're watching. We need bird sounds, and we need rumble support immediately uh, and as long as I'm on the subject I would also say weather patterns come on we need some weather patterns it can't always look beautiful all the time let's change it up a little bit we need wind effects of the wind through the trees We need some tree sway, we need some grass sway. We need better optimization. I'm running on a Sapphire Radeon 6900 XT. I'm running on ultra settings and I'm only pulling 70 frames average. That's, come on guys. When I can run Assassin's Creed Valhalla and Red Dead, over a hundred. That's, and even Call of the Wild, over a hundred. That's pretty. Yeah, we need some optimization, fellas. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, not just fellas. Otherwise, you've got a lot good going on with this game. I do appreciate how they began to include that the time of day that you fish affects affects the experience and what bites and what you're after and how lively and active a, a spot is based on what time of day. So uh, that's good. It's good stuff. Lots of places I've still not unlocked on this map. So listen, I think we'll call it a day right here. I uh, want to say that I appreciate you hanging out and fishing with me. We'll certainly uh, produce more fishing content, especially if you guys like and subscribe to my channel. We will uh, do whatever you all want. I've got every game under the sun, but there is a special place in my heart for fishing. 
So if you enjoy the content, let me know about it. We'll come back and do some more of this. Pick out some other locations. And uh, also check out the other map. It's a beautiful Atlantic, Atlantic Salmon. To cap us off there. And uh, this is Kriegel saying until next time, thanks for hanging.